All the honor, glory, and praise belongs to the Almighty God on today. Well, my subject today will be entitled choice. Choice. The word choice means an act of selecting or making a decision when faced with two or more possibilities. In other words, simply choosing or make a selection. You see, I want to let you know that every day we face, we are faced with decisions that we must make. Those decisions will, will affect the direction of our lives in one or two ways. We will either get closer to God or further away from him. This is a spiritual making choosing. At some point in our lives, we are going to come to the stage where we will have to make a choice. In other words, we come to a crossroad. We got to decide to live and serve the Lord or allow or live and serve the devil. See, we can make the choice to do nothing. In other words, to stay remain where we are. We can make the choice to go in reverse, backtrack. We can make the choice to move forward to something better and greater than where we are now. And that's called growing in God. You see, Job made a choice to serve God no matter what. Job still gave God praise and honor. Can we do that during our time of diversities, our time of stress? Can we still raise our hands and give God the glory and give God the honor? Well, in Job 1, 20 through 21, then he fell to the ground in worship and said, this is what Job said. Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked will I depart. The Lord gave, and the Lord has taken away. But, but, but the name of the Lord shall be praised. But the name of the Lord shall be praised. See, you may find yourself in a position where you are needing to make a choice. And the choice you make will have serious consequences spiritually and emotionally. Or you may be reflecting on your daily life and seeing the need to reexamine your priorities. Because see, sometimes we have our priorities all mixed up based on the feedback you're getting from other people or a distance you feel in your relationship with God. Let me repeat that again. You may find yourself in a position where you are needing to make a choice and the choice you make will have serious consequences spiritually and emotionally. Or you may be reflecting on your daily life and seeing the need to re-examine your priorities based on the feedback you are getting from other people or a distance you feel in your relationship with God. You see, whatever the challenge, whatever your challenge may be, God wants us to see that the process of searching our hearts and making decisions based on what God wants for our life is how we begin to grow. See, Jesus wants us to pray for directions and clarity more so than he wants us to try and be perfect on our own. Because so many times we make the wrong choice, the wrong decisions, and wind up we're in a stuck position. You see, spiritual decision making is a, pro is a process of prioritizing. In other words, putting things in order, what will keep you close to God. 
priority. What is your priority? Your priority is keeping things in line so you can remain close to God. See, I want to let you know that part of growing and maturing spiritually is learning to discern the difference between what's important and what's not according to God. See, God has to define what is important and not us. We make the wrong decisions. That's the key element of spiritual decision making. In other words, we need to consult the Lord. We need to acknowledge the Lord in all our ways. Why? Because the Lord will direct our path. In 2 Kings 7, the four leopard men had to make a choice. 2 Kings 7, 3 says, and there were four leopard men at the entering end of the gate. And they said one to another, why sit we here until we die? They had to make a choice. 2 Kings 7, 4 says, if we say we will enter into the city, then the famine is in the city. We shall die there. And if we sit here, we die also. Now therefore come and let us fall into the host of the Syrians. And if they save us alive, then we shall live. And if they kill us, then we shall but die. And 2 Kings 7, 6 says, For the Lord has made the host of the Syrians to hear a noise of chariots and a noise of horses and even the noise of a great host. And they looked at one another and they began to say, Lo, the king of Israel has hired against us the kings of the Hittites and the kings of the Egyptians to come upon us. You see, I want to let you know that God will and can make a way. And see, when our backs are against the wall and it seems like there is entirely no way of escape, I'm just letting you know that God will and he can make a way. Second Kings 7, 7 said, Wherefore they rose and fell in the twilight, and the, the, the Syrians left their tents and their horses, their asses, even the camp as it was, and fled for their lives. But listen what 2 Kings 7, 8 says. And when these lepers came to the utmost part of the camp, they went into one tent and did eat and drink and carried this silver and gold and raiment and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried this also and went and hid it. See, they made, the four lepers made the right decisions. And, and in Joshua 24, 15, see, Joshua told the children of Israel, and if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, choose you this day whom you will serve, whether it be the gods which your father served that was on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose hand land you dwell. But as for me, see Joshua made a decision. As for me and my house, we would do what? We would serve the Lord. And Joshua 24, 16 said, And the people answered and said, God forbid that we should forsake the Lord to serve other gods. For the Lord our God, he is, it is God that brought us up and our fathers out of the land of Egypt. From the house of bondage, are you in a bondage? And which did those great signs in our sight and preserved us, kept us in all the way wherein we went and among all the people, though whom we passed. See, in life, 
You got to make a choice. But sometimes we make the wrong choice because we lead God out of the decision making. Why not consult God before we make a choice? Let us pray. Eternal Heavenly Father, Lord, we choose you. Everything else can wait. God, we consult you. Glory to God in our decision making over our spiritual and physical life. Because God, we know that you will lead and direct us. But God, help us to trust your leadership and follow you from day to day. We give you praise and we give you glory. Amen.